I can't tell you how happy I am that you're looking at the pros and cons of Culax because all annuity types have benefits and limitations. And the fact that you started there means that you're looking at these products the right way. What's the full story? I don't want just the sizzle, I want the steak, right? And with qualified longevity annuity contracts, and from here on in, I'm gonna to refer to them with the acronym QLAC. You know, does a QLAC fit? Do the, do the cons outweigh the pros or vice versa? That's what we're gonna to do today in today's video. And if you hang in there with me through the end, and it will be worth it, I'll tell you how to get my book on QLACs for free. Okay then, so let's dig into Culex. You know, what are they and where the heck they come from? You know, what do I need to know about them? You gotta be sitting out there. You're either a retiree or you're getting ready to retire. You're thinking about retiring. You're trying to spell the word retire. You're doing something that involves retirement uh, to even be here listening to the Culex pros and cons video. So a Culex is really for retirement. It is a product that you can use inside of your traditional IRA, not your Roth, but traditional IRA to plan for future income. And that's a good thing. It was put on the planet in 2014 by the Treasury and the, and the IRS. Those two cats got together and put this product out for the public to use. And they initially put it together for 401ks, and there's some 401ks that are starting to include it, but they also said people with traditional IRAs can use it as well. And that's the vast majority of the people that are using Culex. I'm assuming, nod your head, that that's probably you as well. So it's a future pension product that's part of your overall, what I call income floor. What's an income floor, Stan? It's your pension, it's social security, it's dividend payments, it's whatever's hitting your bank account every month. Well, a Culex is that product as well that can help with that income floor, but it's for future income. So. Uh, the rules are very specific on QLAC, so let's kind of go over those in a 30,000 foot view. The amount of money you can put in is limited to $130,000 or 25% of your total IRA assets, all of your IRAs, whichever's less. So example, if you had a $400,000 IRA total, you could put $100,000 in a QLAC. If you had a million dollars in an IRA, you could put $130,000 in a QLAC. Remember, the lesser of 25% of your IRA assets or $130,000. Now, you can start the income stream as soon as age 70, 71, or as far out as age 85. For whatever reason, I, I blame the, the journalists a lot of times because they don't know the details of the product. They need my book, right? Um, people think that you have to defer to age 85. You don't have to defer that far. That's as far as you can, but you can start it at 77 or 73 or 75 or whatever, you could also ladder it so that you could um, take half of that 130 and have $65,000 deferring to age 75 and have the other 65 defer, defer to age 85. The other cool thing about Culex is that dollar amount, whatever that dollar amount is, is, is not used as part of your RMD calculations, which has the possibility of lowering the taxes, etc. Doesn't always happen, and it's not a pound the table amount, but it's a legal amount. Um, so that amount is not used to calculate RMDs. Let's talk about benefits and limitations a little bit quickly. Benefits, obviously transfer risk, lifetime income guarantee for you or you and your spouse, which is a very, very good thing. Benefits, easy to understand, very simplistic. Um, simple is good, right? I mean, I, I really like the simple annuity products out there. Limitations of a QLAC is this primarily when you defer there's no interest rate growth on that money. So let's just say you bought a QLAC at age 67, and you defer to age 75, and you died at age 74, and all the money goes back to your beneficiaries, we structured it that way, they're gonna get back the 130,000, there's no interest rate growth. Now, I think that was done for a reason because the IRS didn't want you to pivot, um, but you have to also understand, the longer you allow the annuity company to hold on to that money, the more they're gonna enhance the payout. In the South, the more you cook it, the, more, the better it gets, right? Same thing with a QLAC deferral time period. So I get a call from a guy the other day and he says, hey, I'm interested in a QLAC, but I want to time rates. Uh, I'm gonna wait until rates go up to X amount. I mean, he, he would pick the number and I'm like, doesn't work like that. Um, I know that all you players out there think you can time rates, but you know you can't. 
And you have to understand that QLACs, the payments, are primarily based on your life expectancy, or if it's joint life expectancies, plural, at the time you take the payment. Interest rates do play a secondary role, but really a secondary role. And they'd really have to go up to move the needle on the pricing. So the other thing too, as I told them, is okay, if you're gonna wait to buy it, then you're also going to kind of give up that enhancement of the payment. The longer you allow the annuity company to hold on to the money of your QLAC premium, the more they're gonna enhance the payment on the back end. Here's the bottom line, and this is not a sales pitch, this is just factual reality about QLACs. You can't time it. You can't time it, there's no, the bell doesn't ring at the top of the bottom, right? There's no perfect time to buy one. If there was, then we'd wait to that day and I'd call everybody, right? Or we'd send the blast email. It doesn't work like that. You either like the contractual guarantees or you do not. Now, with that being said, let's talk about structuring a QLAC. When we quote for you, we're quoting all carriers. It's like buying a plane ticket. It's a commodity. It's like a gallon of milk. It spoils every seven to 10 days. What I'm telling you is if you say, Stan, what's your favorite QLAC company? I don't have one. My favorite QLAC company is the one that provides the highest contractual guarantee for your specific situation. That's my favorite. Well, who's that Stan? I don't know until I quote it. And again, it changes. It's rapid. It's, you know, you, you can't go into it going, I only like this company unless, you know, your daughter works for that company, right? Other than that, you go into it for the highest contractual guarantee. Okay, so QLACs fit in your portfolio for future income needs. Income later is what I call it. You can get a quote from us anytime. Um, and, and we just did talk about interest rates and trying to time interest rates. Well, in a, in a previous video that I've done and you really need to watch is how interest rates affect annuities. That one right there, go to that one. I think we'll dig further and it might be the answers you're looking for on all types of annuities because I cover not only QLACs but all the rest of them as well. So do that. Now, at the end I need you to do something for me. Click the subscribe button every single day of the week not weekends, because we take weekends off. But Monday through Friday, I release a brand new video on annuities, different topics, you know, everything that's uh, important for you to know. And educational like this, it's not salesy. Obviously, we want you as a client if the annuities fit for your specific situation. But my role here is to educate you, give you enough information to make a good decision, and then leave you alone and treat you like a professional. Now, the informational side, remember the book? I'll send you that for free. Let me tell you how to get that. Underneath this video, you'll see a description that says Stan the Annuity Man. Underneath that, you'll see the word show more. Click that and you'll see a drop down that will give you a link you know, to click to get your owner's manual. Now when you do that, it'll take you to a page that you can fill in your shipping information and I'll send you that this book right here inside of this gold foil package and you can take a look at the QLAC owner's manual and make a decision if it's right for you. And if you want to dig further, you can get a quote from us or engage us on your terms.